lovelies. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to the August studio vlog. If we haven't met before, my name's Michelle. I'm an artist and a hand weaver, and I usually post every fortnight about creative motivation or art exhibitions, studio vlogs, that kind of thing. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up to ensure that more people can see them. Now, the last couple of weeks, I've literally been weaving cravat scarves, which are my short length scarves. And the last week, I've done one whole warp of four made to order scarves for just the one order, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm so grateful for that. And at the moment, I'm looking over at my loom and I've got a whole pile of cravats to <laughs> photograph and uh, four of them to post out. So I'll just show you what they look like. Yep, look at that. Gorgeous cravats. <laughs> they look so cute. Oh, and there's a fairy bread scarf that's also going out with that order as well. Plus, I got some more um, cotton. I was going to say fairy bread cotton, but that's just what I call them. Um, it's Maurice Brassard Variegated Cotton. Now, you saw the other ones. Uh, yep. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Sorry, it's very bright in here because it's very dark outside. We have a very uh, rainy and stormy day here in Adelaide. Um, so I have to have the overhead light on, but this is so gorgeous. Um, it's one of the Maurice Brassard variegated cottons. I have two others that I've shown you in previous studio vlogs, but this is the new one that I got and Anita's already called it the unicorn fairy bread. <laughs> So it's ba basically a whole pile of, let me show you again. Can you see, come on camera, see if the camera can pick it up. So gorgeous. So more pastely than the other two, but I think a really good addition to my range. I haven't included them on the made to order listing because I don't know how long they're going to be around for. I'm just sort of having fun with them and putting them on my website whenever I have one available. So of course, as usual, the link is down below to my web shop and when they're on there, they will be posted in there. I was fortunate enough to be a finalist of the Gallery M Open Contemporary Art Prize and on the 5th of August it was the opening of the art prize and as you can see the building itself is pretty spectacular. Locals either love it or hate it. And it was great because the exhibition was a wide variety of artists with all different mediums which is really good to see these days. Today is Friday the 12th of August and I've got the day off today. So guess where I'm going? Yes, that's right. I'm going to the gallery. <laughs>
Good morning. It is Friday the 19th of August and there are so many amazing exhibitions on at the moment in South Australia because we have the South Australian Living Artists Festival, Sala, which we call it. And today I thought I would go into the city and just check out a few of those exhibitions. My first stop was the Art Gallery of South Australia because I knew they had a travelling exhibition there at the moment of Archibald Prize winners from the last oh, 100 years or so. So it was a really interesting exhibition. Uh, I can't take video in there unfortunately. So I've taken a lot of photos to show you and I will put all the artists and the pieces up on the screen as well. So I hope you enjoy that. Next I visited my friend Cheryl Bridgart who is a textile artist. Now I've got to tell you something about Cheryl. I remember seeing her work in 1992, the first time that I was at art school. I saw her coats in a gallery in Blackwood, South Australia and I thought it was so cool. I was really inspired by it and it's the first time that I actually looked at textiles as something that I could possibly use in my practice. Uh, Cheryl uses an embroidery machine um, and also she uses just normal sewing machines as well. So she's been doing the same kind of work for the last 40 years or so, which is crazy. And she owns this spectacular house in the Adelaide CBD and she has an art gallery in the house and she has it open for Sala exhibition. Ah, beautiful. I've picked them out of um, some of my early... Can you show me ones. one? Can you show me one as an example? Oh, this one, that little bit. Ah, right. And so all the rest, then I did the designs. Each one has a tiny piece of an early embroidery and then trying to match threads. Yeah. I'm picking them was a lot of work. I can imagine. I love the little skulls. Well, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> the These They're little skulls. Little They're skulls. my favourite. Look at these. Yeah, I love the little and skulls. All a bit weird. <laughs> I love weird, it's beautiful. I just did them all they're all similar size but they're all looking a bit different. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Next I headed over to the main gallery on Halifax Street. There was an exhibition of nature-based pieces and a couple of my friends from Collective Haunt were in there, Sonali Patel and Fran Callan. So I thought I would head over there and check out that one as well. And then on my way home, I thought I'd stop in at Emma Hack's new gallery on Goodwood Road. So Emma had a gallery years ago in North Adelaide, and then she had the art bar on Sturt Street in the city. But now she's just opened one on Goodwood Road. So she's going to have it half as a gallery and half as a dog wellness centre. And you can see in my clips that her three dogs were here on the day that I visited. Oh, 
It is Thursday evening, the 25th of August, and I'm just on my way to a collective haunt opening, and I've just been asked, kind of at the last minute, to do the opening kind of introduction, acknowledgement of country, um, and just introducing the speaker, who will be Solomon Kammer, who's a well-known artist. And it's interesting because it's something I've never had to do before in public. But in the last video, I was talking about getting out of your comfort zone and doing things that do make you feel a little bit scared. So here it is in action, and I'm going to be doing something that I'm quite uncomfortable with, but I'm going to just pretend it's all fine. I'm completely 100% confident and it's all going to go smoothly. So therefore, it will. So I'll take you with me and I'll show you the exhibition in more detail later on. I guess, I don't, I guess I, I think the tradition is to talk about the work when you're opening the, the exhibition, but I have been reading this um, essay by Connor and it's great. I really can't say more than the essays that it's, um, you can you guys to read it. Um, so it's up just as you walk in. Um, but I was thinking I could talk about more about Caitlin as a person. Um, is that her and her art are intrinsically linked anyway? So um, Caitlin is the most fascinating freak ever. <laughs> um, and I think it's really funny that she, before deciding to be an artist, she. Okay, back in the car again. It is Friday the 26th of August. I'm just at the train station, going to catch a train into the city. I'm going to meet Anita, who's been working in the city today. We're going to go out for dinner, and then we're going to go to Tom McGuire's art exhibition opening. You would have met Tom in a previous studio vlog. He's one of the members of Collective Haunt, and it's going to be an awesome exhibition. So I'll take you with me. <laughs> It's Saturday the 27th of August. As you can see, I'm in my studio at Collective Haunt, but I've got a dilemma. I've changed my mind about the tapestry that I'm doing now. Um, I'll talk you through it. Okay, so here's where I'm at right now, but something's been bothering me about this design and I think I know what it is. So it says slay, right? Let me show you the cartoon. It says, oh, my arms are too short. But anyway, it says slay in this black letter font. I want the font just of slay to be like a real like death metal font. 
and I've like made this decision at three o'clock this morning and now I've got to unpull everything I've done because with tapestry you can't just unpull just the why you have to unpull the whole lot because it's like building blocks you can't just unpull a tiny amount so today I'm going to be spending the day unpulling unweaving which is really annoying but at the same time I'm really excited by changing the font so sometimes you've just got to do it because you know you know in your heart it's gonna be better you know oh, why do I do this to myself <laughs> this is the lettering that I am thinking about <laughs> it's just a bit more you know yeah metal <laughs> much for hanging out with me in this studio vlog. It's only when I was editing that I realized how much art I packed in to a fairly small studio vlog. So let me know if you like seeing the art exhibitions around Adelaide or let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see more of. I'm recording this on Sunday and I reckon I've got another couple of Saturdays worth of unpulling of that tapestry at Collective Haunt. So I'll keep you up to date. I'll show you more in the next studio vlog, but you know what? It happens to all of us. That's just the way art is. So until the next video, bye.